Hey, 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 this is Long, and I have a, a pretty cool story to tell you uh, today. Uh, if you're, especially if you're interested in electrostatic headphones and repairing uh, stacks, vintage headphones, especially. So, uh, this story begins about 12 years ago or 13 years ago when I first purchased the Stax Lambda Nova Signature headphones. And so these headphones were made around the same time as the Stax 007 Mark 1s. So they have a very similar sound signature and I actually love uh, the Lambda Nova signatures um, to the point where at some point in my headphone journey I owned both the L LNS and the uh, Stax 007 Mark 1s and since the 007 Mark 1s were around $1500 at the time and the Lambda Nova signatures I only bought for about 280 I decided to sell my uh, 007 Mark 1s at the time because I felt like the value difference was too big and I was uh, fully satisfied with the Lambda Nova signatures. And so fast forward to today, you know, it's been almost uh, 12 or 13 years now since I've owned these Lambda Nova signatures. And with Stax vintage Lambda headphones, um, they were uh, Lambda headphones in the past were constructed mostly using adhesives and so over time as you're using the Lambda Nova, uh, Lambda uh, Stax Lambda headphones especially the old ones uh, what happens is the driver starts to be starts to um, um, you know the adhesive holding the driver to the casing of the headphone starts to wear out and so the driver you'll notice over time it starts to getting it starts to get slanted it starts to become off center uh, from its original position and so that's what happened to my lambda nova signatures so i had decided one day to fix that and so i had to uh you know um uh, uh, take off the ear pads i had to unscrew the the, the casing from the had to unscrew the casing to get access to the driver and uh, in the process of uh, moving the driver away from the casing I had ripped a huge hole uh, in the dust cover of the diaphragm and so um, as you can tell this hole is is kind of it's you know it's a very it's a severe problem there's no way that I could just take some uh, masking tape or take some plastic tape and and uh, tape it together um, uh, since it's such a big hole and so what I decided to do was I immediately put the the whole headphone in a plastic bag because I knew that Stax headphones and electrostatic headphones in general are very sensitive to dust uh, and lint and any kind of particles in the air and so uh, after I did that, I went online uh, to this website called Micron Wings. And Micron Wings sells uh, these thin 2 micron mylar plastic uh, membranes, um, which are, I'm pretty sure, are the same kind of membranes that Stax uses uh, for the actual uh, uh, diaphragm, electrostatic diaphragm, and also the dust covers on either side of the diaphragm. And so um, I had just received the replacement uh, membrane this morning, and so I went uh, to proceed to do basically do surgery on my Lambda Nova signatures. And so what I did was I set up a, a, a HEPA air purifier to blow air across my work surface because I knew that in any kind of particulates or dust uh, on my work surface would uh, maybe contaminate or um, uh, get into the diaphragm of the, uh, the headphones. And so um, I set up a HEPA air purifier and then I made sure that I cleaned and I wiped down all my work surfaces and all the tools that I was going to use. And so my initial plan was to tape down the replacement membrane on the table uh, to create like, a little bit of a tension so I can kind of tense the, the membrane um, over the old membrane. And so what I ended up doing was completely re removing the old dust cover on my Lambda Dova signatures and after I removed the dust cover the the actual electrostatic membrane was fully exposed along with the the metal plates and so I was planning to 
uh, use the table as like a tensioning rod to tense the replacement membrane over the uh, the diaphragm and then use some super glue to glue the replacement membrane um, on the drivers itself and so uh, that idea actually didn't work the reason why is um, you know the the membrane the the mylar the two micron mylar membrane is very like super lightweight and super fragile and super hard to deal with and so what I ended up doing was just tensing the the membrane between my two hands and uh, uh, slowly lowering the tensed membrane over the 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 diaphragm the electrostatic diaphragm uh, um, the driver on my stacks and so uh, as you can see in the pictures uh, you know my my operation wasn't um, very precise or very uh, um, very good actually and so you can see that there's some creases and some imperfections in the way that the replacement membrane uh, uh, came over the uh, the the drivers and so um, surprisingly so uh, as a result of this procedure um, my uh, Lambda Nova signatures are now fully functional again and I don't I can't really hear any sort of artifacts or any issues relating to the imperfection in the uh, replacement dust cover even though there's some creases in it I can't hear any like artifacts or any um, uh, issues as a result of that and the surprising thing is is that you know you would expect that this thin plastic membrane would kind of block the sound somehow but actually uh, I believe that these thin 2 micron mylar membranes are acoustically transparent. That means sound can actually pass through them uh, perfectly fine. Um, and so the, the end result of all of this is that my Lambda Nova signatures are now fully uh, functional and they sound amazing. They sound great. Uh, you know, uh, one of the things that I really love about the Lambda Nova, Nova signatures is that they sound very dynamic. They sound very thick and rich, and uh, they get you very involved in the music. And so, you know, one of these days I'll probably do a video on the sound of the Lambda Nova signatures compared to my other headphones. And so. Um, yeah, thanks for listening and I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, I'm very glad that my Lambda Nova signatures now are, are fixed and uh, they seem like there's no, uh, you know, they seem like they're um, perfectly functional and there's no issues with them right now. So uh, hopefully they, they last for another few years because I really enjoy uh, listening to them. Thank you.